Howdy y'all. This is uh, your 127th favorite motor vlogger on YouTube coming to you live from North Dallas, Texas. What a beautiful day. Temperatures only getting to the mid 90s today. Whew! Cooling off. Well, first, a little birthday shout out to Mrs. Old Fart on a Motorbike, Jim's wife. I'm sure he's going to take good care of her today. Happy birthday. And secondly, I want to do another shout out. This is for a uh, motor vlog. <clears throat> One of my faves, Triple X Deadhead, had a really cool motor vlog. Uh, him, a couple other Harley riders, and uh, a couple sport bike riders. Uh, chain link I like him I think I subscribed to him from day one uh, he's had some experiences being a new rider that uh, we all can learn from certainly watch some of his videos but anyways they had a little chat they did a little uh, Uh, biker round table type thing and they talked about the brotherhood of bikers and uh, sport bikers and cruiser dudes and Harley riders and it was pretty interesting they they hit a little bit on the uh, ride of the century and some of the stuff that went on there so it was pretty interesting I uh, highly recommend taking a little peek and lastly Coincidentally enough, inspired by Deadheads, Triple X's round table type talk. Uh, after I viewed that and enjoyed it, I did notice something that once again, scooter riders were shunned snubbed overlooked and, and you know it doesn't make sense to me because uh, truth be told especially as maxi scooter riders I mean truth be told if you took one of those Harleys that they were there and one of those Harleys was to hump one of those sport bikes in that video I'm pretty sure the offspring the outcome would be a maxi scooter come on you kidding me? Damn, dudes, we're related. <laughs> room, room. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> ah, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe somebody explain it to me. I'd, I'd like to think that it was just because of uh, uh, negligence, just uh, a lack of thought overlooking us, but it happens way too often for it to be that. I mean, we're just flat out shunned, and that's all there is to it. So, as with any group, history has taught us that you, you do one of a couple things. One is, you grin and bear it, you move along, you enjoy your existence the very best you can. The other thing that you can do is let it inspire you I mean make something of it so that's what I've done I've uh I've decided that from now on instead of the down low peace sign that I normally do from my cruiser days I'm going to uh do my own wave I'm going to do the scooter wave and uh 
I've been trying this out and I really like it but before you try it I advise that you uh, practice it a little bit and, uh, for a couple of reasons it's a uh, If you get too excited doing it, you could throw your weight around a little bit and you don't want to do that while you're riding. You want to have it not affect your riding at all. So anytime you do something new on a bike, it's good to practice it. So uh, let me show it to you now. Whee! Scooter wave. It's just a big old high wave. That's all it is. Not to be confused with the Miss America wave. You don't twist your, your hand or anything, you know, or the princess wave. It's the scooter wave. Big old high wave so they see you. So, you're riding along and up ahead you see a cruiser, a Harley, a sport bike. Cruising right along and then right <laughs> all right one more practice run and then you take it to the road do, 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 do. here we go oh look a member of the Biker Brotherhood of um, Sport Bikes and Harleys and Cruisers. Hi! Hi! I try to, I like to say a little hi. Sort of inspires the wave. Gives me that little extra shot of scooter pride. Alright, let's do this thing. Shoot day in Dallas, Texas, North Dallas, temperatures under 100 degrees, even if just barely, should be tons of bikers out, enjoying the cool off. Ah, there's a guy, there's a biker, hi, hi, hi. Uh, <laughs> a guy on a cruiser, looked a little bit like a Harley rider. Had to go up pretty high so he could uh, see the hand over traffic. Saw him turn his head. That's right, dude. You just experienced scooter cool. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, go home, tell your family. There's a sport bike rider. Hi! Hi! Ah, uh, he didn't see me. <laughs> Darn it. Or he ignored me. Well, there you have it. Scooter wave. I did want to mention if you're at a stoplight like this and you happen to have at the intersection or see a a biker you can stand up and do the double wave hi hi that usually gets their attention so I challenge you scooter dudes and dudettes and I know I've got some that subscribe I challenge you go out and do the scooter wave I pretty much guarantee you, you'll get some satisfaction out of it. It's pretty cool. So, that's my deal for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.